Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hello! Remember the Ecoline markers I showed you a few weeks ago? Well, these brush pens are filled with Ecoline, which is water-based ink. I will be using it today, along with a dip pen and a brush. You can use any kind of ink, and if you use black ink, like India ink, you might want to water it down a little bit when using the brush. I'll just be drawing and experimenting a bit and share the process while I draw and paint. Right, so here we go. I dip my pen in and I just start from the top. So what I'm basically doing is drawing the outline of um, all the shapes that I have here, all the dip pens and um, a bamboo pen and also this sponge that you can make cool lettering with, very big, or fill big spaces with. And um, I think this drawing is just a celebration of art tools that are evergreens. I mean, we're all so much digital right now. A lot of us have iPads, draw on tablets, and sometimes we might even forget how these sort of old-fashioned tools are actually so worth using every now and then. And using them while drawing them, that is just the best way to celebrate. And I don't often use my dip pens because it's a little bit fiddly and I like going on location or just grabbing my sketchbook uh, whenever I feel the itch. And then it might actually, you know, be a bit of a hassle to get all the stuff out and you'll need, you know, some water to clean your pen or your brush. Of course, if you go on location, there's the whole issue of how to take the ink with you uh, without spilling it all over your bag so there's a little bit of a risk there um, so that's one of the reasons why I don't use it that often I also don't really like the scratchiness of it the feeling of that sharp uh, point on the paper I think it also depends on the kind of paper that you use and also the kind of pen, but this is very standard and there are many different kinds of pens, but you can of course find all sorts of specialty pens and brands, but I'm pretty sure you actually have a pen like this in your drawer or on the shelf. So don't go and buy something new, just use what you have. Celebrate all the good stuff that um, we have and that we can use. Let's celebrate that. Let's just take a moment and think about that. Like, we can spend time doing this and we make time doing this because it's important for us. And it's fantastic. It makes us feel happy. It makes us feel good. Um, it needs to be celebrated. Okay, so I have this, this bit done. I need to leave this to dry for a little bit. And then I will also add some more ink, but with my brush. Okay, so without watering it down, I'm just adding like a little color around what, I, what I've been drawing. And it's okay if I go over the lines a little bit or if I miss a little bit. That only adds to the painterly style of it. And you can see that if you layer the ink, that it gets a little bit darker where it has already dried. This ink, I think it is watercolor. It will behave a little bit different than other inks, but the idea is still the same. How you can, you know, make a monochrome effect using both the ink for the lines and the ink for uh, the background. I might want to go over some of these lines again with my dip pen, but I'll let this dry first. Okay, it is a little bit damp now still, but I am just very impatient. So I will be adding those extra darks now. I'm just looking at my, um, at the tools that are still in front of me and just look where those shadows are. And as you can see, the cast shadows really help to establish a little bit more of the shape, but also to, um, give a bit of weight and context 
to the drawing, otherwise they are just floating in this pink frame. And if you add a shadow, a cast shadow or a drop shadow, then you make them sit on the table. I might want to add just a little bit more of an outline. Just adding a little bit more emphasis here and there on the outline. It stands out just a little clearer than before. If you go over the lines with more ink, they are toned down a little bit, so you can use that to your advantage, or you can um, uh, play with that a little bit more. And as you can see, I have very wobbly lines. It's all fine. It really is not about a perfect representation of the tools that are in front of me. This is just playing with my tools, celebrating my tools, and celebrating the fact that I love drawing and I want to do it every day, and I hope you do too. Well, that bright pink definitely add something to this festive drawing. What tools will you be celebrating? Use them, draw them, paint them, and share what you make using a hashtag DTT in action. I really want to see what you make this week. And don't forget to sign up for that weekly Draw Tip Tuesday newsletter because I will send you an email each week as soon as a new Draw Tip Tuesday video is up. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.